Well, once again, you won at Knoxville. Growing, you grew up on a half mile. Some people might not know that. So how did that, does that help you to come here at Knoxville, which is also a half mile? Well, it helps the big tracks, obviously, but this place is just unique. You know, I've come here so many times in the past and was so terrible, and then one day figured it out. It's uh, great to be able to get to Victory Lane tonight, I can tell you that for sure. <laughs> You were sitting in third watching Craig Delansky and Brian Brown battle it out. What did you learn by watching them as to where you could go on the track tonight? Well, it was really done earlier in the night. You know, we tried to run around the top. Um, the track was just so good on the bottom, it just never went away, and the top was just a little bit crumbly. I couldn't get around there all that well. So, you know, you just had to go where they're not. You know, those guys were racing hard, and, um, you know, I made some passes on the top and just uh, kept after it and uh, finally uh, capitalized on a, on a mistake Craig made and got out front. Your car seems to work good just about everywhere. What's your secret? <laughs> uh, these guys on this STP team do a phenomenal job, and we just have a, a, a great relationship. And, and when we find something that works, it uh, seems to work at a lot of places. So it's uh, when it's like that, it's a lot of fun to drive. But when it's not, <laughs> it's not the best thing to get in. But uh, these guys do a great job to get it as good as they can every night. Well, congratulations, Donnie. Thank you. So you made the pass for the lead on lap 23, you passed Tim Kading. You were working the bottom really well there, and when you got to Nicole lap traffic, Donnie Garner. got by you on the top. Yeah, you know, um, actually, we were, we were working real well to, uh, in the beginning of the race, and Nicole felt like we were, you know, gaining on Brian Brown there. Um, we got by Tim early, and then we got by uh, Brian, like, I'm not sure what lap it was, but, uh, you know, just a hard-fought battle with the Icon Trail camera car, and uh, we come up one spot short. Now, you had motor troubles last night. Did you guys get everything worked out for tonight? Yeah, we did. Uh, you know, we had... Uh, you know, and then tonight again, uh, we had something that happened, and, and we had to uh, replace that motor. But um, I can tell you that we got one of the best motor builders in the country with Brian Morrison, and does a great job for our race team. So, you know, again, uh, we come home second tonight, but uh, we'll keep working hard at things. Uh, DJ and Sean and Chevy are doing a great job working hard, and, you know, got a great race team. So we'll, just well keep, keep plugging away. Consistency is key, Craig, and you've been doing that this year. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Craig. Well, Brian, we're at your home track, Knoxville. And um, I'm going to say it, you're kind of always a bridesmaid, never a bride. I hate to interview you again. You know, you were leading there, and Donnie got by you in lap traffic on lap 13, and you were working the high side really well. Explain to me what happened there. You know, just uh, got a little freer as the race went on there and just could, uh, couldn't really do anything with them. But, uh, you know, shots is, shots is always good here, and uh, so a good top three is nothing, nothing to hang your head about. We definitely want to win. And uh, I feel like the Outlaws maybe made, it, made, it, made a bad call there towards the end. We went around. I felt like we won another lap. That would have put me in second, maybe had a shot at Donnie. And, uh they raced the call, and um, you know I felt like that we had to win a complete another lap, and I went from fourth to second. But it is what it is. We got beat. That's really the moral of the story. We, I feel like they had the fastest car night long, and uh, definitely uh, didn't uh, didn't finish the way we wanted it. Yeah, you won your heat. You won the dash, and taking that momentum, it was unfortunate that you didn't win. But what did you learn tonight that you can use for the next time the Outlaws come, and definitely for the Knoxville Nationals? Well, we definitely remember we just got to get better. I mean, you know, uh, obviously still Knoxville runs through Donnie's shots, and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, if we want if we want a chance to dethrone him, we've we've got to get our car better all night long. And when it slicks off, and when you know as the track conditions change, and we've got to be able to run the bottom. That's really the uh, end all be all. To, to win the Knoxville Nationals, you got to be able to move around. And our car, or me as a driver, is not moving around like we need to be. So uh, just proud of everybody. Casey's General Store, FEP Searsboro, everybody on this thing. Uh, Maxim chassis with a Charlie Garrett engine. It's uh, definitely not those guys' fault. It's, uh, we just got to get our car a little bit better. Well, good luck, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you.